guys, what's up? It's Madison and welcome back to It's My Mad Life. So today, I thought it would be really fun to make my year in review video for you guys. I've been seeing all over the internet and listening to the radio, all these people doing 2018 year in reviews, whether it's music or Google searches or even just their own life. And I thought that it would be really cool if I did my own 2018 year in review. So I'm going to share some little highlights and details with you guys throughout the past year, month by month. And I just thought it would be really fun for me as well because I want to be able to look back on this year and see what I thought was special right now and then share that. So then when I'm older, I can look back on it and I can share it with my kids and I can also just see what I was up to when I was 25. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm actually also going to be having like little pictures popping up right here next to me so I can show you a visual representation of what I'm talking about. So be prepared. And a lot of these are actually probably on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me yet, follow me. I'll put the handle right here. It's just at Madison underscore Eichert. So go on over there. Follow me on Instagram. That's like the only social media I use other than Facebook. I'm not really a Twitter girl. But follow me on Instagram. Okay, let's get started. jan you wary So, in January, there were a lot of things happening. It was the beginning of the new year. My brother actually got engaged on the last day of 2017 on New Year's Eve. So, that was really fun. But, right when, new year, right when the new year started, it was wedding planning central. And so... That month in January, we went wedding dress shopping with my sister-in-law. And then I also started preparing for graduation. I had just started my last semester at school, and it was super exciting. Me and my friend Asan got to go to this fun little event where we got to sit in this, like, photo booth, and we got to take pictures uh, with some graduation caps and just be really silly and enjoy our last semester at college. February was also another super big month for me, especially for my collegiate career. The first weekend in February, February, the first weekend in February, I not only presented my senior thesis, which was a 25 minute long piece which I will also link down below in the description box because you can go watch that if you're interested. Not only did I present that and Brandon got to come up and see it, but the next day the Eagles won the Super Bowl. It was the most exciting time of my life. So I presented my senior thesis. It went amazing. Everybody loved it, and I'd never experienced anything like that before. And then we won the Super Bowl. It was awesome. It was so cool and such a great weekend to start off my February. And it kind of just got that month rolling. In March, not only did I have some spring break stuff happening, my spring break was the end of February, beginning of March, and so I went and I visited Brandon, and we had the fun 10-hour road trip up from North Carolina, which there's also a vlog of that. So if you want to go watch that, you can. I'll put the link down below. Anything that I talk about, if I can, I'll link it down below. I'm just going to say that now. Um, but when I got back to school, we did this thing. It's called ACDA. It's a dance conference where schools all over the country come out and we all meet up and it's like a convention but with collegiate teachers and professors, and it's really cool, it's really inspiring, we build each other up, and we really create these like great memories, and you learn a lot, and you don't feel like you have to compete with the other dancers like you tend to do at dance conventions that are just normal, and it was just a really great experience, and it was my last one, so it was kind of surreal, but it was great, and this is a picture from a master class that I took in soft shoe, which was really cool. It was a really cool style of dance to learn. April was the last 
month of my collegiate career. I even did my last regular, regularly scheduled school show, which is the picture that you're seeing right now. This was from a piece that I did called Serenity, and I thought that it was just like a really nice piece for me. Um, it kind of challenged me in a different way, and it allowed me to incorporate my faith and dance together, which was really cool for me. Um, but it was also just sad because it was the last time that I was going to be dancing on that stage as a undergrad student. So it was kind of bittersweet, but like really cool all at the same time. And then, like I said, I finished my collegiate career at the end of April, which now takes me to May. May was when I graduated. So Cinco de Mayo, graduation day. I loved it. It was so much fun. I actually was not planning on walking in my graduation when I first started college, but you know, I went through a lot. I did seven years of college, four part-time, three full-time, and I really worked my butt off to get to where I was. I graduated magna cum laude, and that was super exciting to find out and to say that I graduated magna cum laude. And Graduation was just so much fun and I'm just so glad that I was able to finish with a BA in dance and a minor in marketing and it was really cool. Um, but also in May was Brandon's 21st birthday so that was a lot of fun. And then there was um, my recital at my dance studio. Okay so I apologize if the setting kind of like shifted or the whatever if the frame is a little bit different than the last time my card said that it was full so i had to like redo it but i hit my camera and it was a mess but anyway i'm pretty sure i left off at june so jumping right back in june was also a really fun and exciting month i turned 25 in june which was a little crazy and a little surreal to think that i'm 25 now that's a quarter of a century old i'm 25 i don't feel 25 i don't think that i look 25 but i'm 25 and that's weird to think that i'm 25. um also brandon and i got to celebrate our one year anniversary in june which was really fun and exciting because he was also here for it he was here all summer and so that was great and we got to spend that together and then we actually went to our first non-family wedding so i got to take him with me to one of my lifelong best friends wedding um and it was really cool and just like really fun and kind of a new experience for both of us. And I was so happy that I got to share that with him and I got to be there with my friend Lindsay and celebrate her wedding. July was also filled with a bunch of really fun and crazy things. And one of them was that we completely redid our entire dining room in our house while my mom was in Africa. And so this is the before picture of one of the walls, which had a complete wallpaper on it. And this is an after picture of what it looked like. Um, it was really fun and we always have a great time, you know, redoing those rooms. It's kind of like an amateur fixer-upper kind of thing and it's such a blast. Um, but then also I got to go to the Taylor Swift Reputation Stadium Tour concert, which can I say I cannot wait to relive that today or tomorrow whenever I'm posting this on New Year's Eve Netflix is showing Reputation Stadium tour and I'm so excited I can't wait to relive it it's awesome it's like my favorite it was so good it was such a great great concert it was such a great night and I got to go with my cousin Emily because that's our kind of thing that we like to do we have this tradition of always going to see Taylor Swift in concert together and it's one of my favorite traditions that we get to do together um, and then I also took my brother to go see Charlie Puth in July which was really cool and really fun and he's just talented and I mean who wouldn't want to see Charlie Puth in concert oh, yeah, I, don't know. I did and he was really good August was a little bit more of a chill month, but not as much, so we had a weekend vacation at the beach, which then transferred into the bridal shower for my brother's wedding, and so that was really fun, and sadly I had to say goodbye to Brandon as he went back to school, and he had to start his whole thing, but August was pretty good. It was a pretty chill month, and I just got to relax and enjoy being home and start preparing for the wedding that was going to be happening 
in September, which takes us to September. Um, sorry, the Eagles game is also on. But September was my brother's wedding, and that was really fun and really crazy. That was at the end of the month. So not only did dance start in September, because I teach dance if you didn't know that, um, teaching dance started, and then there was the big hurricane, and it was going to hit the North Carolina, like the Carolinas, and so Brandon actually came up for like a couple of days, and then he went back, and then he flew back up the next weekend for my brother's wedding, and that was just really fun, and a really great experience, and just really enjoyable. It was a great night. I will say, it did not hit me that it was my brother's wedding. I felt like I was at a family wedding, but it wasn't my brother's, and it was just really strange, and I can't imagine what it's like when it's your own wedding day. If it doesn't feel like your sibling's wedding day, will it actually feel like your wedding day? Hmm. I don't know, but I will find out at some point. Now we're on to October. October uh, started with my brother getting a dog. So my brother and sister-in-law got the cutest little doggy. She's a mix, a poodle with something. We don't know what, but her name's Mallorca, and I love her. She's my favorite. Next to Maddox, I love Maddox, but Mallorca, ugh. She's just such a little cuddle bug, and I love it. I love it so much. Um, but then also at the end of the month, I flew to North Carolina. No, I'm sorry, I didn't fly. I took Amtrak. It was my first time taking Amtrak. So I amtrak to North Carolina, and I spent Halloween with Brandon, and this is what this picture is. We were Linus and Sally from Charlie Brown, and we actually drew those lines on his shirt, which I think that we did a pretty good job, if you ask me. Just don't look at the elbows. That's all I have to say. November was also just a really chill month. It was kind of stressful because I had some choreographing to do, but November had Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving is always great. Um, but it also had my first working on Thanksgiving experience, so that was a little strange. Um, but it was, all in all, a pretty good November. Not much super happened. And it was just kind of relaxing and preparing for Christmas and all of the holiday seasons that were yet to come. And then December hit, and December marked my first time being kind of paid for commission. Um, I don't know really how to work this, but I was commissioned by my school to choreograph a piece for the winter show, which I had two of my students perform with me and this is the picture of us in our costumes the night of the show um, actually and uh, it went really well it was really fun and it was kind of crazy like that was my first kind of commissioned work or I don't know yeah you understand what I'm saying um, or what I'm trying to say um, and then Christmas Christmas happened honestly it literally felt like from the beginning of December to Christmas just flew by like nobody's business. Um, had a bunch of Christmas parties and just enjoyed spending time with family and just relaxing and really living life. And now we're here. Now it's New Year's, um, New Year's Eve, all of the fun things. And yeah, it was really cool and really exciting and a really great year. So overall, I felt like 2018 was a really great year. It probably, looking back on it, has been one of my favorite. It's been filled with so much stuff. A lot of big things happened this year, and I'm really grateful that I get to experience the things that I experience, and that I've had such a blessed year, um, and that I have my family and friends to share it with. So, yeah, um, let me know, what's, what were some of your favorite things that you experienced in 2018, or some of your favorite highlights from 2018? I'd be really interested to hear what your year was like, and I want you kind of re to reflect back on your 2018, because reflecting back on 2018 has been really fun for me, and I really enjoyed it, and it made me realize how much happened, and how much I really enjoyed this year. So make sure that you do that for yourself because you never know, you might realize something that you didn't realize before. 
But anyway, that's it for this week's video. I really hope to start filming a lot more for you guys in 2019. That's going to be one of my resolutions is to post more again. I miss posting. I miss making videos. If there's any video ideas that you have that you want me to do, write them down below. I'd be interested to hear. Um, but anyway, remember to hit that subscribe button. Become a Mad Scout. Join the fam. Also, press that thumbs up button. That lets me know that you're liking what I'm doing. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Happy New Year. Embrace your messy hair and your sweatpants. And peace out, Mad Scouts. Bye. Love.